Hello Facebook, Steve Woody here, Midday Mastery, episode number 32, and today I'm going to talk to you about flipping the script, and we're going to do this in 10 minutes, because I want to keep it short. I really want to start compressing these Facebook Lives, I realise I do really long ones, and so to stop waffling, I'm just going to get straight into it, flipping the script. What do I mean by this? I spend a lot of time focusing with people, I'm just going to write this down, a lot of time focusing with people on getting from A to B. And so whenever I talk to any of my clients, whenever I talk to anyone that I'm working with, I say, right, what is B? What's the outcome? Because you need to know your outcome. You need to know where you're going. So what I normally say is, where are you now? Where do you want to be? And then what do you need to do to get you from A to B? Okay, that's what I teach. That's the model. That's what we go through. However, what I want to talk to you about right now is flipping the scripts on that because Whilst that is an important focus, and whilst you need to know that, and whilst that is the foundation, I think that there's something that is, if not equally, then more important. And that is an alternative perspective on this. Because this is our outcome, and this is what we want. We want to get people from A to B. But so many people focus on B. So many people are focused on the outcome. So many people want the Ferrari. They want that nice car. That's a really crap Ferrari, but it should have been red, I know. So many people want the big house, the big car. So many people are like, I want the money. So many people are like, I want this. This is the outcome. This is what I want. But what people fail to realise is what's more important than that is the journey. How do you get there? This bit here. Getting to B is important. We need to know our outcome. But it's like life. We're not aiming for death. We're not going through life waiting to die. We're trying to live it. And the way that you live life is what you do in the middle. It's the journey. Good morning. I hope you're well. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. So what I want to talk about today is flipping the script. Yes, the outcome's important. Specifically when you're talking about digital media, you're talking about marketing, you're talking about... Um, you know, focusing on how many people do I need to take for an opt-in, to take for a core offer, to take for an upsell, to get my outcome. Like, yes, that's important. And yes, I teach that. And yes, you should do that. But what's more important is once you've got that foundation, once this is in place, once you know this, then after that, then you need to take a look back and say, what is the journey that people go on? Because getting you to buy or getting somebody to buy a product from you, that's... That's what we're aiming towards as online marketers, digital marketing, in terms of having like products and services and a business. We want people to purchase. But the journey that they go on, people want to know that the journey that they go on to get the result is going to be better with you than anyone else. One, they want to know they can get the result. Can they get the result? That's important. Two, what's the journey like? Most people will put up with a bad journey to get the result. There are people that will go through hell and they will moan about it and they will bitch and moan and kick and scream, but they'll go through it if it gets them the result. The result's important. Equally, there are loads of people that are just going on a journey. They're going around in circles. They're just doing this all day long. They never get a result. They just keep going around in circles, but they love the journey so much that they're happy with it. So yes, you need to focus on the outcome. You need to focus on the result. That is very important, but you need to know the journey. All right, and this is a step in between. A to B, get the result, but how are you getting them there? Because, look, you could say that you're going to travel from a destination, or from, a, from, from one destination to another, and you could do it in a banged out old car and you don't know if it's going to make it there, or you could do it with a driver in a really nice comfy car, sitting in the back relaxing. You know, there's different ways to get there. And what I'm trying to use this analogy for to give you the idea is that the journey through your products and services, how does someone find out about you? You know, are you giving them a really cheap, uh, tacky business card that doesn't look very good, that's overwhelming? Are you making them find you? Are they forced to go and find you? And when they do, they come to your website and they have to look for themselves and fend for themselves because they have no idea where they're going or what they're doing. And then they try and check out, but the button doesn't work and the form crashes. And all of a sudden now they're getting linked somewhere else and going somewhere else and you're upsetting them into something else and they can't contact you. And before you know it, the journey's shit. They're having a really bad experience trying to get their outcome. So... In your business, wherever you are, whatever it is you're doing, just take a step back, know that you need to focus on your result, but how are you going to get people there? What's the journey that they're going to go through? 
Because too many people are focused on the outcome. Too many people are focused on, I want to make money. I want to get more clients. I want to get more traffic. I want to get more results. That's great. Have that. But just make sure that the people that you're taking through that process, they're happy. And they enjoy the process. And they enjoy the journey. Because that's what they're going to remember. The emotion that sits inside when they go through the journey is what they're going to remember as well as the outcome. So if you can get both of them and they're working sort of in alignment with each other, you're going to have a much better customer experience. Much better customer experience, much better reviews. Much better chance of a testimonial. Give someone an outcome and chances are they'll be happy with it. But give someone an experience and they'll give you a review. They'll give you a testimonial and become a loyal and raving fan. So hopefully that helps. That's it today. Really, really short. Really, really sweet. Use that. Focus on the journey as well as the outcome. But remember to flip the script. Don't get so blindsided by the results that you forget about the journey people are going through. And I'll leave you on this note. Test your own journey. Don't just expect your customers to go through it if you haven't been through it yourself. Go through your own experience. Use this time today. Use it right now. Go through your process. Buy your own product. Buy your own service. Be your own customer. Schedule time. Actually go through your own processes and ask yourself, where can I improve? What, how can I improve? What can I do to make this a better experience for my customers? You'll thank me for it later. Have a great day. I'll speak to you soon.